I've had a really long interest in the science-religion interface right from my school age times and my first degree was in physics and philosophy and when I had the sabbatical in 2012 what I came back with was a deep conviction that there's a mountain of really good academic literature which puts the relationship between science and religion into a much more nuanced and deeper place than a lot of the popular understanding does. Science is a very complex business. There's not just science. From neuroscience to cosmology, from sociology to biology, there's a whole range of questions and the rate of change of science and the gaining of knowledge is exponential. And therefore the task for someone like me as a church leader was to communicate some of this really good material so that it gets into the bloodstream of our churches, but also into our education system and into wider societies. And the senior leadership conferences arose out of that conviction that there are common shared big questions between science and theology and an openness on the part of scientists to engage with the church. And we want to encourage an openness on the part of senior church leaders to engage with scientists on this. I think one of the elements in that is the idea of truth seeking. Science answers certain types of questions, but it doesn't tell us everything we want to know about the meaning and purpose of our lives. So that pursuit of a wider, deeper truth creates a space for a really interesting conversation. And certainly our experience where we've had leading scientists just telling us about their work, whether it's in genetics, whether it's in cosmology, whether it's in artificial intelligence, whether it's in evolution, you end up having absolutely fascinating conversations because these conversations take us right to the heart of really big questions about life. And those are the big questions about what does it mean to be human? in the light of artificial intelligence, or our understanding of the human genome, or indeed life elsewhere in the universe. Where do we come from? These are the questions that I normally get asked at the end of talks that I give about science and Christianity. And I think once you start digging in at a deeper level, you really do realize the depth of Christian faith and how some of these big ideas and understandings of God, they don't crumble under that conversation, they grow and they deepen. And that's a wonderful thing to happen. This is a peer-to-peer -peer group by invitation only of senior church leaders who have a safe space to explore and question, raise doubts, raise insights. And secondly, this is an opportunity to encounter science as it really is. And by that I mean, encountering scientists. And the way we do it is by asking world leading scientists, whatever their faith community commitment or not, into a space where we want to take their science very seriously indeed, but at the same time into a space where we want to take theology and particularly the Bible seriously. Humankind, we are innately curious. Science has developed with an understanding that we can explore with our minds the deep patterns of the universe to the wonder of God's creation. So science is the most extraordinary gift, not just for all its practical benefits. Many of our scientists and our bishops gravitate to the bar at the conference at the end of the day because they simply want to talk more. They want to get to know each other as people. And we've been reasonably successful in creating that space where there's a freedom to take seriously both science and theology and to see them as mutual conversation partners rather than one being primary and the other secondary.